Alright guys, so today I actually want to talk about a match that we had Monday night. We were doing carries again Monday. Um, you know, carries is one of those things that I feel pretty decently comfortable on a Friday doing. I feel really comfortable on a Saturday. Sunday is, eh, you know, it's okay. Monday, no. Monday's normally a day that I, I don't ever like to do trials. Because, uh, you know, you normally run into stacked teams. And, you know, I don't I don't mean stacked in a way of, like, it's a negative thing. It's not a negative thing. I mean, to be honest with you, probably, like, the only people playing on a Monday is, like, you and your buddies. And if, if trials is an event that you and them do, most of the time they're pretty good players, you know? Um, now, we were we were actually carrying steel through here. Now, steel is somebody I've, I've already brought through trials before. Uh, but, you know, this this is... Uh, this was a little tougher, man. This is, this is a good team that we were going against. Now, we ended up getting them on this first round right here, and I got a lucky stick there at the beginning. Uh, so it was really good, man. And it's it's always it's always a really good indicator to win the first round. It's not the deciding factor. You know, it's not like one of those things like if you got to win the first round, then that's the team that's going to win. But it's a, it's a good tone setter. It's a good thing to set uh, for the rest of the game. Um, but, of course that didn't sway these guys and that's when you know you're going against good players is when you when you win a round or, or you push on them and, and you make uh make a move on a man and, and you get on just like right now i come over here and I, I land this pick right um after winning the first round like that you think they would have been swayed by this but no this guy immediately starts to shred me with his sidearm i had to push away they got the pick on both of those guys over there and then they're putting me down real quick it's little things like that man uh that really sets apart some of these guys I and mean, some of these players that you're going against this because and in, in, in their mentality their mindset is they're not refusing to lose um and and you got to have that same mindset as well uh, even when you get shit on and you're gonna see me get shit on here a couple of times i definitely definitely got shit on uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna kind of just go through some of this gameplay right now because the the mentality man the the refusal uh, to lose um i know we're talking about a video game and I'm not trying to get philosophical or anything on y'all, but I, I feel like that's something that's that carries over in a lot of things in life, man. Re refusing to lose, refusing to, to sleep, refusing to to let go of an idea, you know. Again, this is just a video game, I know. Um, but I, I get kind of I get kind of serious. I get uh, emotional about it, man. This is this is something that I invest a lot of time in. And so uh, I, I just got back from the gym, by the way. I, I sit there and I, I go through a bunch of things. And I listened to a bunch of stuff. And anyways, uh, this is a video I did that's, that's been on my mind for a while uh, because this was such a good team that we were going against. Now, I uh, I immediately know we got to we gotta win this round, man, because pretty much I feel like if we can get to, to just round three, man, uh, especially once we get supers up, you know, round three is usually, you know, game over, especially if we got a good roaming super. I'm rocking hammers. Uh, this was really this was really tough right here. Gamer and I... Uh, we end up losing our, our carry got away from us. He ended up getting picked, and so but we, we got shiny ammo and plus we're Titans. So I mean we we've, we've got the the close range game on our side now. Gamer ends up pushing up. He gets gets shredded by that same guy, the guy you saw a second ago, that was doing really good with that sidearm was was doing work. Um, I have an option. I can either square up with this guy or I can go get gamer. I, I just feel more comfortable. I always feel more comfortable getting the rest. Now I straight up missed that shotty shot. I could have easily taken him down, but it's okay. That actually it actually worked out. Because he got gamer his uh, his super right here. Once we went up putting this guy down, now he is he is bouncing all over the place. This is that that same thing I was saying. That mentality that you have, that refusal to lose, uh, it's laborious, man. It is because that same mentality th these guys got, and so it's a it's a back and forth kind of thing. And he is he's going for it, man. He's going all the way around. He's going for that res, uh, and he's actually trying to bait one of us in there for a one v one. He's he got a sniper. I don't know if that was a no land or an icebreaker, but he am getting a sniper right here, and uh, I think it was. Yeah, it might have been a a uh, a icebreaker. I don't know. I couldn't tell from right there. I couldn't tell what he had. Uh, but third round, you know, we've, we've got roaming supers, man. Things have been going pretty swell for us. Uh, this is when when it's it should be a sealed deal right now. I'm gonna go in and pop my hammers um, and and gonna be done with it. Now I don't know if I have. Yeah, I have sun charge on right now. I pop my hammers, but I pop it way too late. I wasn't expecting. I was thinking that this guy was going to be playing back a little further see the the issue with with some of these players especially good players is not that they a you know they've got good gun skill it's the unpredictability you know it's it's the the different 
uh, setting that they present versus the other teams you've been facing for the past six, seven, eight games, you know. And, you know, a lot of those guys would have played passive in that moment. With him knowing I have a hammer right there, he immediately pushed up on that and, and took over box area. Um, now, if somebody would have had my cover fire, I probably could have got him. I don't know where Gamer was. I landed another just nasty stick, but I get picked right then and there. It was probably deserved, man. That was such a disgusting uh, stick that I probably should have just jumped off the map. Now, immediately we get picked. These guys, uh, they, again, they're, they are representing the mentality that I'm preaching about, man. The refusal to lose right now. And uh, they've not only got the refusal to lose, but they've also gained momentum. That's a scary thing, man. When players, when players, I'll see you'll you'll lose rounds so quickly, man. Whenever people just gain momentum on you, uh, and before you know it, man, you're you're on the fourth and final game, and and you're losing. Now it was it was at about this moment, I would say that um, I was really starting to just realize, holy shit, we're about to. Because I, I think we had lost our mercy i want to say and so i was i was really getting nervous man and um the the team was so funny is the team that we lost our mercy to a second ago was a team we should have definitely beat uh, but we ended up losing our mercy and i get tether right here he's rocking quiver uh or yeah i want to say that's his quiver i don't think the other one had a a tether the other could have been another guy that popped a tether that might have been made more sense but they immediately go ahead and pop them up man and go ahead and get get us down right there so we're approaching fourth round they've they've gained momentum um they've they've got the mentality there man they they pretty much sealed the deal right here in terms of putting us down i think gamer might have a slam but i am so far away from a a uh a super and that was risky right there what i just did i just try to go in there that same spot and i am notorious about being predictable like that i will i will go back to the same spot and i think i'm being unpredictable like i think like oh no i can I'll push that spot. Now, this is a major, major clutch moment right here. So we told Steel to go ahead and approach and pop his tether because I, there was no way I was going to get this res. I ended up throwing a sticky right there and killing him. Not, not killing him. I don't understand how I didn't kill him. I, I did stick him. Uh, and he had a tether. I knew this guy had a Nova right here. And so this was uh, this was uh, going to be a problem. I could have gone up and melee him. But I get so nervous when it comes to Warlocks and melee. Dude. Sometimes things act so glitchy. And you just don't want to take risk. And I just want to go ahead and just pulse him out. I know I can pulse him out. But he ends up getting the shots on me and we end up trading. Um, which is good. I'm glad we traded. At the same time, I was really let down by that, man. I was, I was really... We needed to win that round, man. And I'm not sure if, if Gamer's got his super yet or not. Um... But we we're in a situation that pretty much the same boat that we are, except for now we're even down a super. Like I was really really depending on that tether to serve as a pick and not necessarily a a tool to get us out of something. But they did waste a nova, which was a a big one for us. Now this is the moment that that we should, probably should have been playing the strat a long time ago, since they were holding cap points so hard right here. It would have been better for us to, to come to C point. Um, now you just saw me put on Forge Master, which is which is strange. I know a lot of people would say why not Sun Charge. I get questioned that a lot. When generating orbs, though, I go Forge Master. I know they don't have a super available, so my best option would just to go ahead and just just get as many hammers out as I can and uh, try to get a, a team wipe on them as best as I could. Uh, Sun Charge, you know, if I was really good at Sun Charge, if Sun Charge was something that was more reliable for me, uh, I could do that but it's not and so i felt better with that perk instead we're just going to play for my hammer so now the reason why i need to get this out man is the 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 goal here is just simply to make enough orbs to get a slam and to get a tether back um supers is is something that can easily win rounds for you as you saw the round before this one should have definitely lost the only reason why we won is we dropped a tether. That guy was coming in to Nova me while I was trying to get the res. And so that tether was the one thing to save my life. Now, I go ahead and pop my hammers right here. This guy's up here. And I made a stupid move trying to throw a hammer up there. Uh, but this guy should have just turned around and kept teaming me. They should have just all kept teaming me. Um, but it's just it's just hammers for days, which is great because this enabled me to pop orbs. This guy um, tries to challenge me. It probably would have been better if he jumped off the map. But I think he since he, he did take me down that third round. He might have thought he could have done it again, um, but I don't know, man. I had the the aerial advantage. I feel like for for most 
Uh, for most of my Sunbreaker bros out there, if you can get the aerial advantage, man, you're mucho bueno, man. For the most part, you're, you're mucho bueno. Um, now, we, we have supers right now, which is which is the good part. Now, this one was so funny right here. I, I had a feeling, since we've been going to C point, I had a feeling this guy was going to come over here. Uh, I wanted to keep baiting him. Um, I was going to kind of play for green, but I thought about what if. I'm just going to go up to this level, and there he is right there. He, he wanted to peek so badly, man. And uh, we took advantage of that. And that sticky, again, super nasty. Um, I know people hate on stickies, man. I, I'm not a fan of them either. Uh, but I use I use whatever means necessary to, to get carries through, man. And as you see right there, Gamer ends it with the death from above. Guys, that was a hell of a game for us. Uh, a hell of a, a long game. I don't know if y'all noticed. This is over 10 and a half minutes long from start to finish um against a very good team refusing to lose man it's it's a mentality that i think that is not something that you just go into and say i i refuse to lose i think it's one of those things like it's a dance it's a it's a tug of war it's a, a back and forth kind of thing um and there was definitely moments high moments in that that entire series and it was definitely the low ones especially when i got shut down out of my hammers uh if you like this video man i don't i don't know if this is necessarily something you want to see more often but if you like it, I'd be more than happy to, to put out more of these. Um, this is just kind of a little more personal. I, I actually just got back from the gym, so just kind of just chilling. Thought about uh, recording something to this. Uh, it was a very close match, and uh, I very much enjoy matches. Those are my favorite matches, man. So, guys, as always, man, thank you so much for coming and watching. I'll catch you all later.